Hi there, this is Tom, developer of Happy Files, a WordPress plugin that lets you organize all your media library files into categories. And if you're a pro user, you can also categorize any post type. So I already went ahead and activated Happy Files Pro, which I'm going to use in this video walkthrough. And I'm here in my media library. And as you can see on the left hand side, Happy Files added this sidebar with all my categories. And I'm just going to quickly walk you through the entire functionality. So at the very top, what we can do, because I already have a bunch of categories, I can sort them alphabetically. So I can sort them ascending. Let's do this. You can see they're all sorted. To rearrange the order, you just simply drag and drop a category. You can see this category is nested. So if I click here, you can see this category has two subcategories. And if you click on any of those, this instantly refreshes the results. Underneath, we have our actions. So I can create a new category. Now I'm into my sports car category. So if I want to create a new category in here, press Enter, you will see that this creates a subcategory in here. Of course, you can move this out. Now just put it under Home or put it at the very top whatever you need. And we can rename this. Just click, select the category, click rename. Press Enter and my category is renamed. We can also delete this category. So if I click here, you will see this confirmation message telling you that you're about to delete the category. This is not going to delete any image. It's just going to delete the category. And talking about categories, Happy Files works with custom taxonomies, creates a custom taxonomy for each category. So every category you see here is a term in your database. So Happy Files is not modifying your file structure, your file path in any way. Those are not real folders on your server. They are just entries in your database. And all those actions, we also have them available by right clicking. So if you would have a lot of categories, you don't have to select the category, scroll up, go here. You can just right click on a category and then you can create, rename and delete this category just from the context menu. You also have a context menu when clicking on a file. This works in grid view, but also in list view. And you can quickly inspect which categories an image belongs to. So let's say I am here in my all categories and I'm going to see, okay, like this image, which category is it in? So I click here and you can see this is the parent category and this is the category this image is in. If you click it, it brings you right into the category. And let's just move some uh, files into categories. So first of all, I want to organize those files here. So what I would do, I'm going to create a new folder, name it city, press enter, and then I can just drag and drop my files in here one by one. You can see it instantly updates. This is gone here. It shows now in here. But I have a lot of files, so I'm going to bulk select them. Just select the first file, press shift, and then I'm just going to move all 10 images into this folder. So now you can see uncategorized is empty because I've categorized all my files and they are all in here. If I would move this file into another folder, it would no longer be in my city folder. It's now part of this folder. And what you can do by going into the settings, so settings happy files, you can go down here and enable the multiple categories, save it. And in that case, now I'm able to assign this file to multiple categories. So it's already in here. Let's say I also want to have it down here. So I drag it in here. And now you can see it's still here. It's also in here. If I no longer want to have it in a specific category, I just select the file and drag it into it. all categories or uncategorized. And you can see now it's gone here, but it's still in this category. And this is basically how you would um, move around your files and assign and unassign categories.
the sidebar. If we hover over it, we can also toggle it. So you can hide it, you can show it, you can resize it. Of course, if you have a long category titles, you might want to make it a bit wider, no problem. And you can also upload a image into a specific category. So let's say I'm in my city, cat city category. I want to add a new image. I'm going to upload this into this category because this is the category I currently have selected. If I would select all categories, it would just not have any category assigned to it. So I'm going to grab a file from my computer, put it in here. Now it's uploading. You saw this indicator, this upload indicator. Of course, in my case, it's pretty quick because I'm working locally. And then now you can see I have this image in my CD category. If I would delete this image now, because actually I don't want to have this in here, I'm just open it. Now this is a counter of 12. I'm going to open this one. I'm going to delete it. And you can see it's gone. The counter instantly updates. Also this counter instantly updated. And this is how you can upload directly into a category. You can do the same. From this menu, you can just select the category you want to upload your files into. And if you're using a page builder such as Elementor, DV, Oxygen, Breezy, Bricks, Visual Composer, you can, or Gutenberg, or the Classic Editor, and you, of course, also have happy files functionality here when editing your images in a builder. So let's just have a look at Elementor. I already have an image here. If I open this uh, media model, which is the same one you see when editing with Gutenberg or the classic editor, then I also can, I have all the actions that I also had in my media library. I can create categories. I can rename, delete, sort, everything. Um, so this is how that works. And another feature that you have, if you go to the settings, would be the permission that you want to give to each user role. So by default, if you're an administrator, you, of course, can create, rename, delete, and assign categories to files. But if you have any other user role, you can only view the categories, like open each category and see which files or posts or pages are in this category. But you cannot just um, delete categories or customize them in any way. But if you want to enable this for certain user roles, you can do so here. And it gives you a ability to control the permission of Happy Files categories. The last thing I want to talk about is the categorization of post types. Like I said, I'm using the pro version here. So if you're using the free version, you won't see this um, two options. But if you're a pro user, you have the post type selection here. So in my case, I selected post pages and WooCommerce products, borders, and coupons. So if I go to my pages now, you can see I have six pages here. You can see this is the same look and feel that you have when categorizing your media library. Same principle, like this is the list view, of course. So I can take this, I can say, okay, those are all page builders and I want to have them in my page builder category. So now they are in here. And this is how you can organize pages. You can do the same for WooCommerce products because I have enabled them in my settings before. So I have no, I have this um, category for my WooCommerce products. There's nothing in there yet, but I can take this, I put it in here and you can see that now I have categorized my first product. I also enabled for posts, so I have the same in here. The process is always the same. Um, and this basically wraps up um, the functionality of Happy Files. One thing I want to point out is if you go to happyfiles.io slash roadmap, you're more than welcome to submit your own ideas or upload existing ideas. And you can also have a look what's happening in terms of development. Like this is planned next. This is what's currently happening. I uh, just released an update so you can see the full change log also over here. And yeah, that concludes my video walkthrough of Happy Files. And yeah, um, happy editing. Bye.